Hello, today we're gonna manipulate some people. I mean, focus. This is one of those circumstances where manipulation is good, okay? So here are a few tricks. First of all, um, you might want to establish uh, a clear foreground, a middle ground, and a background. And it doesn't matter if, if they're quite abstract or vague. For example, my foreground here is this chain, which I've blurred out. That's another perspective trick. It's like the, the camera shot, yeah? The thing in the front is blurred out, so the attention goes to the middle ground, where most of the detail is. And then the background is just pretty much nothing. It's just some texture. But you can tell where your eyes are meant to go, right? So that was all intentional, making this chin huge, but then blurring it out so it doesn't steal any attention, and then putting all the detail in the middle ground, and then not having much in the background. And it's fine if it's um, light as well. Here, the background is nothing, but I established that there is a plane using the feathers. So you can tell that she's on the floor because there's, there are feathers on, on something, which is the floor. There are feathers in the background as well, these small ones. And then as they come towards the front, they get bigger. So this is the foreground here, this bigger feather. You can tell that she's the main focus, do you know what I mean? But if it was just her, I mean, that's not very interesting, is it? This is without feathers and with feathers. Without, with, without, oh, without, with. So just having something to establish, like some sort of setting, is pretty important. My style is keeping this pretty light. I don't usually mess around with the foreground and the background too much. You can tell here as well. I, I literally used the same ring of water as both the foreground and the background. Here, this is the foreground, and that's the background. And then the middle ground is obviously where you're meant to look. That's my style because I'm lazy and I can't be asked to come up with an actual background. But I just think it's a neat trick that you can use if you don't have a lot of ideas. You can use light particles or branches or flowers. Those are pretty popular ones. Or anything, really. Just remember that if it's in the background, it's smaller. And if it's in the foreground, it's bigger. Okay. That is how perspective works. Okay, so the second point is lighting. The brighter, the more focus there is. Like this one. It's not hard to tell where your eyes are meant to be, right? And by using a... Uh, don't know if you know this about Medibang, but there's a tone curve where you can manipulate the values. So if you have a bright spot, but you want it to be brighter and you're not really sure how to change that, you can just go into the tone curve and mess around with the, the lighting values like make it super fried or something deep fried but that's what i did with this one this is with the contrast and this is without you can see that this one makes this pop a bit more but also if it's brighter obviously uh you're going to pay more attention to it but if everything else is bright and a specific place is dark then that also brings attention towards it what I mean is, okay, if I have this, then, then the inverse is also true. If everything else is bright, and you have one place that is just strangely dark, you're gonna make people go, ooh, what's that? Do you know what I mean? Well, to be honest, it's more, it's just about contrast, really. Oh, but if the figure is dark, then you can't see the lines, and it's hard to colour, and, okay. If you have that, then you can just like take a white pen and 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 draw like that. Do you know what I mean? One of my favorite artists, um, Le Caitigreff, does this quite a lot, and she's really good at it. You know. All oh, right, color and saturation. So what I recommend for beginners is to have one light source. Uh, usually in reality, that's not the case. Like usually you'll have ambient lighting, maybe a lamp like lighting from everywhere, reflections and stuff, but having one light source uh, when you're just starting out is pretty helpful because then you only have to think about what direction the light is coming from and in this one it's this way. And then for me it was easy to, to figure out which way the shadows should go and where to put the saturation and colour and stuff. So for me the focus is this part in particular. The theme of this piece is actually racism like this, uh, this girl of color is looking at this other skin color and she's thinking what's so good about this color anyway. 
Uh, so that's what I wanted to showcase. So I made sure that the light was hitting the this part in particular. And also made sure to make her, her eyes pop a bit. Something about this looks off. Wait a minute. It's her eyes, isn't it? Her eyes. Mm. Oh, oh god. Oh, okay. Okay, alright. Detail. So I'm not much of a background person. As, as you probably can tell, like, there's nothing in the background here. There's nothing in the background here. There's nothing here. But they're still complete pieces. You know, you can tell it's finished. Uh, there's just no background. So it's because that I put all the detail into the middle ground, into the focus of the piece. And I'm lazy, so I don't want to do the background. So I didn't do it. But if you're the type who likes to put detail in every part of the piece, I think it's especially common with comic style artists, then you can. It's I think it's great uh, putting detail into it, you know, having that passion for your drawings. But then I think you sacrifice some of the attention grabbing that your piece will have. If you want to have the same level of detail all throughout your piece, then I think use the other tips such as the lighting, the saturation, um, the perspective things, so that you can bam but manipulate the focus onto your piece. Yeah. Another you can do is use color theory. Now I'm not an expert, but I know that warm contrasts with cold. So in this one, the background is pretty cold. Like it's it's a cold, dark night. Um, but then there's this beam of warm sunshine. And to accentuate that, I, I made her hair red. She's, she's ginger. And she's, I just wanted to, you know, show that she's happy even in this cold setting and weird looking buildings. Man, these buildings are, I can't draw buildings, but that's something you can do as well. So I do this quite a lot. I'll contrast warm with gold. You can see here, orange and blue. And then this one is mostly orange. It's not a complete piece. This one is mostly orange, but then to make this figure stand out, I used a cool greenish color for her clothes and another one that works really well is dark blue or indigo or something with goldish yellow so that's color so another thing that i used to do a lot right now i um i draw the the, the person really well and then i just forget about the background but i used to be the opposite i used to just draw the background and then not be able to draw the person so i used to just draw a half-hearted background and then stick a silhouette onto it like this this took me like half an hour so you can see that i just put everything into the background and then because the background itself was a bit boring i needed a point of focus i just stuck in this silhouette mysterious looking girl and i was an amateur that's why i did that but some people make this their entire style and they're really good at it especially this one artist called ricky art there's probably tons out there but this is something you can do if you're confident in your backgrounds but you want something in there as a point of focus but you don't know how to draw people just shove in a silhouette and it doesn't have to be a, a black silhouette either if you have something like a platform just make your character stand on it or sit on it or something and then them against the sky the background it'll look great trust me this also wasn't finished don't judge me do you want to know who they are this is pearl She's very cool, she's a she's a programmer, and this is her girlfriend, Felicity. <laughs> My god, Jesus Christ. They're very good together, they like fight crime together, and they like be cool together, and, and they mess around together. I love them. Alright, so another thing that people, especially amateurs, tend to do, I'm not using amateur in a bad way here, by the way, I'm just using amateur as in people who aren't very experienced in drawing and have no and don't have that much confidence is in no way a bad thing you just need some practice if they for example if they want to bring focus to their eyes and they're not really sure how to manipulate the focus and they feel like oh i don't really have any other options they'll just tend to draw draw a mask on them like this that's a really simple way to bring attention to the eyes um because you can't see the nose or the mouth there's nothing to look right so composition of of your figure that'll help you make the mask dark as well that will help 
So similarly, if you have something important to show, if you want to bring attention to the mouth, you can cover the eyes or like, you know, make the hair cover the eyes. Or if you want to bring attention to the eyes in a sort of plot twist way, you can cover the eyes with a mask and then and then later on make them take off them take off the eye mask and then bam they have beautiful eyes we all know who i'm talking about here right that's why everyone went hype over him because because he was hiding those beautiful gems in the first place all right so how do we go about um composing a piece with some nice focus on it first of all i tend to just draw a figure that's a really lanky looking person there but she's a uh, like this is her back and she's turning away from us and stuff um so let's say i want the lighting to come down this way and i just want the focus to be on her as a whole not on not specifically on her eyes or anything so maybe i'll make i'll put her in the center it helps to put the the head a little above middle by the way not directly in the middle because eyes aren't in the middle of the face, they're a bit up, so when we say eye level, we mean a little above middle. So the lighting is coming this way, right? So first of all, I tend to take a really big brush and like just say, this place is dark. It doesn't have to be perfect, you're fine like that. And from here we're gonna add in, take away some according to the figure we have. So the back of her head is gonna be dark. Her neck, also going to be dark, there's a shadow from her chin, and the back of her hair, also going to be dark. Her back is going to be dark. Um, now her arm is a bit round, like it's a cylinder, so this part is gonna, the light is going to travel a bit like that. And her chest, well her armpit is going to be dark. And the light is going this way, so yeah, maybe her clothes uh, is going to create some creases, and she has some creases like that i don't know how to draw creases don't blame me okay so we have vaguely some lighting but we want more lighting because we love lighting what i mean by that is i want to make it darker where it would be dark anyway so the bottom like her trousers and stuff that's going to be dark anyway the back of her back the, the back of her back her back whatever here am i drawing on the wrong layer no no i'm not and some and some more creases anyway all right let's utilize some of the some of the things we learned earlier so that's lighting and composition uh let's how about let's add in like um a background you know what i'm just gonna put in circles how about leaves leaves are leaves are cool some really vague looking leaves right here here as well here it's autumn so the leaves are falling aren't they the leaves are gonna get some light as well like that and I'm going to put in a super big leaf here, because that is the foreground, okay? And then, I'm going to blur it out. There we go. Now that probably needs a lot more refinement, but you get the idea, I think. I just want to say to you guys who are um, a little bit afraid of drawing, basically, don't be afraid of contrast. Like, I want the focus to be here, and that's why I only made this part bright, you know? This part. And that's why I put everything else in shadow. It's okay, you can sacrifice some detail in favour of putting the focus where you want it to be. Alright? In fact, that's probably for the better. I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay, have fun drawing. Um, don't take this video too seriously if it takes the fun away from drawing. I just want you guys to have fun. Because drawing is meant to be fun. And we're all having fun here. Bye!